Now only on 12 News, it was exactly one year ago today a Smithfield teen found herself in an unimaginable situation pinned under a haunted hayride. Now Giada Lanzeri and her family are sharing their story for the first time. 12 News anchor Kim Colonian sat down with the Lanzeri family and joins us now with their message. Kim. Well, Mike and Shannon, Giada Lanzieri was at a job that was supposed to be fun for everyone involved. And now her parents are warning others to be hyper vigilant about where their kids are working and the training they receive. It was a typical Saturday night at Seven Cedars Farm in Smithfield. And then 14 year old Giada Lanzieri was ready to scare up some fun at the haunted hayride where she worked. When the tractor came through the woods into the site that I was working at, I would have to somehow scare the people on it and usually I'd be working with someone and one person would have to jump onto the tractor. The tractor approached. Giada was ready. At that time I was the one who had to jump onto it mm -hmm. and I don't remember much but I remember jumping on it. The night went black. Then Giada awoke to a horrifying realization. Somehow the tractor wheel was on my back. I remember throwing up and the tractor, everyone was saying like to stop the tractor and it stopped, but it was still on my back. Um, and then everybody got off and someone lifted it up off of me. Just a short drive away, Giada's parents were getting ready to leave their house and head to the farm. It was actually, we had tickets for the 8.30 show and it was 8 o'clock when we got, the, we got the call. A call from Giada's phone. I go over there, I pick it up and it was her friend Maddie. And that's when she said, um, Giada got run, ran over by a tractor. I was like, what? I'm like, did you, you know, did you call the people that run Seven Cedars Farm? And she's like, yes, yes, yes. I'm like, all right, well, we're on our way. I screamed, and then we got in the car, and we raced there. And then I just got out of the car, and I was trying to run in the woods to get to her. And um, I, I could not get to her. Um, and she rode in the ambulance by herself. And I heard later that she was asking for mom. So that was probably one of the worst moments to have to experience as a parent. Giada had numerous injuries. According to her family, she had a concussion, a broken rib, a broken leg, damage to her lung and more. And when I saw her, she was this this shade of gray and her body was she was definitely in shock. Seven Cedars Farm ended their haunted hayride season early that year. The Occupational Health and Safety Administration, or OSHA, launched an investigation and cited the farm for two serious violations. One for failing to ensure that scare actor employees were protected from struck by and crushing hazards presented by the tractor, and another for failing to have an infirmary clinic or hospital used for the treatment of all injured employees. OSHA tells us the second violation was dropped as part of a settlement. The farm has to pay a $7,000 fine and implement further safety precautions. The hayride is back up and running again this year. A representative for Seven Cedars reached over the phone, did not want to identify themselves, and declined to comment for this story. Giada spent four days in the hospital, eventually returning to school the following month with the aid of a wheelchair. By February, yes. she was back on the soccer pitch. It was awesome. She's a miracle. Her first game was on a brand new field in our town, and we have a, we, we were able to see her get a goal that night. A lot of our family was there. It was it was awesome. They look back on what happened to their daughter in shock and horror, and hope to prevent something like this from happening to any other teen. Just make sure there's a safety plan, an emergency plan in place when your child is going for a job. And Giada's family has hired an attorney, and they tell me they plan to file suit against the farm in the coming month. And Mike and Shannon, their lawyer, says they're not only seeking compensation for Giada's injuries, but they're hoping to make some changes to ensure the safety of all seasonal attractions like this one. We're glad she's feeling better. All right, Kim, thank you.